Are Chaos Dwarf blunderbusses any good? <laughs> it's more like, oh my god, please nerf level. They're that good, but with limitations. Remember how I said Iron Demons are support monsters? Well, what do they support? In a lot of cases, it's blunderbuss units because they're the here and now killing power of a Chaos Dwarf army. A giant is 20 yards away? Blunderbuss. Imric? Blunderbuss. Chaos Knights? Blunderbuss. Blunderbusses are the answer to anything in the game as long as they're within range and you can get shots off. Ah, but there's the catch, isn't it? In this little piece of testing, I have badly outnumbered blunderbuss units against Empire Swordsman and one general, who does a pretty good job beating up uh, my overseer. I have one great Taurus to blob up on the other side best I can. I use this example because there's limited extra abilities and I want a simple unit to use and run around causing chaos in the Empire Swordsman China shop. The AI does a half decent job of trying to flank and tar pit the blunderbuss units. And this is on default skirmish. There's no extra Hellforge texts, no experience levels, so the accuracy is pretty default. It's only when this general gets close with no distractions that he gets nearly melted. Somehow the blunderbusses and friends fight off this force. Remember, default settings, no improvements. Here I'm showing you a sped up version of a campaign battle. An ambush battle against a very beefy, meaty, and brawly ogre force from a minor faction. Here I had time to set up blunderbusses with a few hobgoblin archer units in support, one piece of artillery, a little hero support, very basic tech tree uh, skills, and a bunch of experience levels to raise accuracy. I don't think Zatan had any redline buffs going as of yet. And look at just... things are melting. I'm melting! The rest of the footage is the same battle, but slower and with a front row seat. And while I run that, you might be asking, okay battle, do blunderbusses have weaknesses? Goodness, yes. They're only decent in melee, that's not where they want to be. They're gunpowder units sensitive to terrain, line of sight, and they prefer not having friendly units obstruct. They're sitting ducks against the right kinds of artillery. Unless you get Hellforge text, they have no spell resistance whatsoever, so magic is also a great idea. And if you get them rear-charged by something armor-piercing, well, kiss them goodbye. Grimgore in the face will also rip them apart in melee, as an example. So how about synergies? I'll cut to the good part. Flaming Sword of Ruin with a Fire Mage with Kindle Flame will make their shots, even from default units, magical attack and fire damage, which means that flammable, Kindle Flame, Anything else you've managed to put on your foe will stack with blunderbusses and not just your hobgoblin archers and flame-based artillery. It's truly ridiculous in the best way. Also remember that they have limited range. Ogres that have to come to melee you can't avoid you forever. Yes, these guys have nice shields, but they're not actually killing anything past range 100. Also, the aforementioned obstruction issues, so you bring single entities, lords if appropriate. Heroes, flying monsters, armed demons and skullcrackers. Dare the enemy to both take down your speed bump and survive the blunderbusses behind them. It's a bet you will usually win. Please consider liking, subscribing, and donating to my coffee account. I need your support. Take care.